Hello, this is Victor and I will continue my video showing how I doing the Hellions. So that uh, if you remember in the last video I did the vibration on the base and I also did the green this green part from the Imperial Guard and I did the wash with Agrax Air Shade and this is how it's looking like after the wash and all the dry brush. See here and this is another example. For example, this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the this face, and I will do also the damage on the helmet. So to do the face, I will use Cadian Flesh Stone. Just here, take out the tail brush, and then I do like that. Okay, that's all. And then, while this is dry, is drying completely, I will do a wash later on with Rage Glide Flesh. But I will do it later. I reserve there. I will do, start doing the battle damage. So to do the battle damage, I will use first black. And I will paint the black where I did the damage, for example, here and a little bit out of the damage Okay. then I also have some damage here and I will do, for example like some, like here I will do a scratch like that Okay. I will do the same on the other parts later on, but to save time I will focus on that miniature. So once I apply black, I go for some metallic, I will use this time Iron Breaker, also from Prevent Workshop, and I will do the damage. So I will do here. I will leave a little bit of the black around okay, I will do like that Then in the case that can look like a little bit burn, I will apply a little bit of Agvax L shade in the this one on the deep. So this is after applying the here I will apply a little bit in some parts. And then around the damage, I should do, be done this before, but I just forget. But you can correct always at the end. Around the damage, I will do some light color, and this will simulate that the paint has been cheap around this. So, and also will highlight a little bit. So you can do just in one side. Yeah. 
and also look, look like that and then so this will be will do the damage and then I will do some highlights and to the highlights I will just do the edges of, of the helmet here More or less, this will be the look. Okay. Now, the eagle, and the helmet, I will do it white. This case, so I will take not exactly white. I will use palette which flesh and then I will paint the imperial wings that now that the flesh is completely dry I will do, do the wash and in, the, in that case I will not do much more details on the face just here I, paint, I do the wash on the face of course, I will not do the A's this time because suppose that the is the A's are closed. So this how will look like, and then on the white, I will do a very thin wash with noon oil. You see now the wings can s you can see better the the detail of the wings. So this is all here. And then of course once this is completely dry, I will add some blood, some blood. So let's stop here, and I will be back when these washes are completely dry. So now the washes are completely dry. So here you can see the face. And I will do I will make use of the technical paint because of course if they cut the head of this guy there should be some blood around this. So we'll apply some blood here at the base and then I will put some blood on the mouth
and this will be just a little bit around the other side Now I will lose this brush to put some on the stone like that. So that will be all. So this is all. The base is done. And I will focus and continue the painting on the skyboard. So if you remember the last video, I applied some of the basic colors, the green of the gems, this copper here. Now I will do a little bit, I will continue using, sorry, I mistake, but I will use again thin breath to do the grit on the front. So we will do this grid here on the front with this color. And I will take running um, run fan steel to do the blade where is this hole and the two small blades on the grenade launcher this is not the wood brush And for the schools, I will start with Uzbati Brown, Uzbati Pond, sorry. So, we'll do just one school, and you can imagine that the other one will do the same to save time on the camera. So, just apply it, and we'll do the base color. So. You see it's covering pretty well the black. I don't see issues with these cream colors to cover the the black prime. And sometimes if you need to do a white, you cannot first apply this color. It will give a good cover and then later on you can apply the white on top. So this is one color that is very good on it's covering very good black and it's working for this or for bleach bone was also doing the same type of job so this type of cream colors are very good covering black so you see this is done we'll do the same here but this two I will do at the end so this is how it's looking like now the first thing I will start doing now that I have all the fine all the basic colors applied I will start highlighting the black parts to highlight I will do three phases 
So first I will do a highlight with ashing gray. Then I will do a second highlight with another gray. Just one moment. I found the other gray. So this I will do first one highlight with ashing gray, second highlight with downstone and the last highlight with administrator gray. So to do the highlight, here I will show just a small part and then I will finalize the, the skyboard to save time also in this video and not to to make it, it excessively long that is being too long sometimes so I just apply this trying to be on the edges So you, you can get the idea, so you just follow the edge Don't need to be too thin because later on we will do a second highlight and the second highlight we want to leave some of his of this highlight without covering. So we need a little bit something on that thickness. keep on going on these highlights so this is the idea I will do all the whole miniature and then later on I will connect again the video to show you how it's looking like after this first highlight okay this is how it's looking like after doing the highlight in all the skateboard now I will start adding a second highlight with downstone so the idea here is to apply it in a way that you leave some of the previous layer visible so I recommend also to have the previous color available in case you need to do some corrections so here you have the idea You see this wing. So I will do all this wing that you can see who will look like.
As you can see, I, from time to time I'm taking some water when I feel the the paint is too thin. So you have to have the right texture that the paint is flowing easily, but is not. But you have to be careful careful that the paint is not too thin too thin because if not, then you you will not control. You can see all consists in making a second layer of highlight. You can see this wing compared to this one. Okay, so I will do the rest of the skateboard and I will be back in some minutes. Okay, this is how it's looking like after the second highlight layer. Also I did this on the bottom. So now we will pass to do the third and last highlight. In this case I will use administrator grey. And I will only apply this one on the on some parts. So for example here on the on this area. area. Also here in that part of the miniature. So the idea now is to do some highlights on the most extreme part. So for example also this back. And then I will do this thing here and this thing here. Okay, so it's only to do for example here, here then the back so you got the idea just on the most extreme parts of the miniature I will be back when I'm finished okay this is how it's looking like after doing the third highlight you see here I also did some highlights and I will finalize this, this video here. So thank you very much for watching. And see you again later. Bye!